three years ago I got this fan and it's horrible. You can barely feel it blow when you have it pressed against your face. So I wrote a review and forgot about it. Yesterday I was checking my reviews and noticed it got taken down. So I got pissed and decided to upgrade this piece of shit. I'm gonna take this 2 volt fan and slap a 40 volt motor on it. Let's see what's inside of this garbage. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to cut out the back side to make room for the new motor. But before that I'm gonna wire it up. So I'm using this 30 volt 1 amp power supply and I can lower the voltage with this speed controller, which also slows down the motor. Nice. Now I'm gonna attach the fan and test it again. Fuck. I've just burnt my finger and the motor also isn't spinning too well, but I know exactly how I'm gonna fix this. I have a power supply with a maximum current of 1 amp. And to lower the voltage I'm using a speed controller. The speed controller works by creating a PWM signal, which turns on and off the power supply. And the output voltage is defined by the fraction of the time being on and the whole period. So if the power input is half time on and half time off, the output voltage is gonna be one half of the input voltage. And the problem with this is that it doesn't increase the current. And I have a suspicion that the motor draws more than one amp. So I'm gonna add this buck converter, which not only reduces the voltage, but also increases the current. So if the voltage is half, the current is gonna be double. By turning this trim, I'm setting the maximum voltage of the motor. And by turning this knot, I can set the speed of the motor, which is limited by the maximum voltage. And yeah, I was right, the motor draws about 1.5 amps, which is way over the maximum current of the power supply. And with the higher current, the motor gets even hotter, so I'm gonna add this heatsink. This backside is basically a 45 degree cone, so it's gonna be a pain to connect anything to it. Even that tape would have probably been a better attachment. I should probably make a cover before it falls apart. I didn't bother soldering the wires, so it's making these sparks. Do you get hot in the summer? Is your fan just not cutting it? I present to you the Turbo Blower 420. This thing will blow your mind. It has adjustable speed, RGB lights, real life noise cancelling, and AI powered auto turning. Do you have 10 hours of free time? Don't hesitate and build one yourself. So yeah, this project was definitely worth it. I mean, now I have to plug it into an outlet instead of USB, so I can't really use it. And you might say that building it took more work than just buying a new fan, but it actually doesn't matter because it has more features. <laughs>